In the mid-50s, Leon Festinger and his colleague Merrill Carl Smith conducted a classic experiment in which students were engaged in very boring tasks. The students were then given a request by one of Festinger's staff. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let me tell you now what we're actually studying here. It's the effect of preparatory mental set on performance. The rest of the subjects are prepared by being told that the experiment will be very interesting and enjoyable. In fact, lots of fun. Uh, now I have a somewhat unusual request to make of you. Uh, the next subject is waiting right outside, but the fellow who ordinarily gives the spiel uh, isn't here. Uh, I wonder if you could possibly take his place. As a matter of fact, we figure we'll be needing someone in the future. So I'd like to offer you a $20 retainer and have you remain on call for us. Uh, would that be all right? $20? That'd be fine. Half the students were randomly assigned to the group that received $20 for lying that the experiment was fun. The other half were given only $1 for lying. Dollar as a sort of a retainer and have you remain on call with us. Uh, would that be all right with you? Yes, that'll be all right. The man who has paid $20 knows that the task is dull, but he also knows that he had sufficient justification for saying that it wasn't. Did you enjoy working on the manual test? Well, it uh, really wasn't too enjoyable. In fact, it was rather boring. How about the man who has paid $1? He knows the task is dull, but he has two discrepant thoughts. He also knows that he did not have sufficient justification for saying that it wasn't. For him, there is dissonance. Time after time, we have seen what follows. He reduces the dissonance by changing his opinion about the dullness of the task. Did you enjoy working on the manual task? Yes, I enjoyed it. Would you like to participate in such an experiment again? Yes, I think I would like to.